Okay. So the ovary slide begins on uh, page 89. Now, I'm just going to tell you one thing. You know, you may not find all the structures you're looking for on a particular slide. Okay? Just have that in mind uh, when you pick up one of these slides. Now, this is what it looks like under low power here. Uh, and so this is, we're just kind of look around this for a second. Now, this is not a human ovary. A human ovary would be much bigger than this. Okay? It's about, your ovaries are about that big. Okay? So, uh, what I want to do now is go to medium power. And what we're looking for are all these small little cells here found on the edges, so, or close to the edges. So these little guys here. All those little guys there. Those are the primordial follicles. So those are the primordial follicles. I'm going to go to high power here just so we can see these guys a little better. So those are primordial follicles. These little guys here, 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 here. Those are primordial follicles. So essentially all you're seeing there, what it kind of looks like is it looks just like an oocyte. There is a small ring of cells around there, but uh, you're not seeing much of anything. This one right here is a primary oocyte. I'm sorry, primary follicle. So these are primordial. These are primary. So here the oocyte is enlarged a little bit, and now we have a group of cells uh, around it. So you're seeing uh, a couple of these. So there's a couple of primary follicles. Okay, now I'm going to move to low power here. I'm sorry, medium power. So, what's going to happen is we're going to go from these guys here, which is where we were, here. They're going to continue to grow cells around them, which is what we're seeing here and here. And then we're going to get these layers of cells around there. Now, this is a secondary follicle. Those are follicle cells, oocyte in the middle. That's an early secondary follicle. This right here is a later secondary follicle. Here's the oocyte. Here's our layer of cells. Now what's going to happen here is you're starting to see it. You see this space here between the cells? So that space is going to enlarge, and what it's going to do is it's going to push the oocyte off to one side of the follicle. And when that occurs, that's when we call it... So. There it's starting to, that one right in the middle. But here, we're seeing now that oocyte right here. It's kind of pushed off to one side. We've got this space right here. Now this is a graphene follicle. All right? So it's no longer in the middle like what we see with this one. It's pushed off to one side. And we could find probably some uh, that's a little better than that. But uh, let's look at uh, this guy here. Okay, so once again, here's the oocyte. Now you're seeing this pink layer that is around the oocyte here. You're also seeing it on this guy here, that pink layer right outside of the oocyte. Uh, that is the zone of pellucida. Okay, so that is the zone of pellucida. And what happens is after fertilization, that zone of pellucida is going to harden, and that's going to prevent other sperm cells from entering, uh, which is a good thing. All right, we'll talk about that um, later. All right. Uh, what I want you to do now is scratch off corona radiata. Because corona radiata are cells that are around the oocyte after ovulation. So the cells that are in here that are circling around this are called the cumulus oophorus. So the cumulus oophorus, pre ovulation, they're called the corona radiata post ovulation. You guys with me on that? Okay, so this is a, a mistyping uh, here. Um, fecal cells are found around the follicle. Okay, so fecal cells are found around the edge of the follicle here. The antrum is the space. Okay, so the antrum is the space. Let's go ahead and see if we can find another one. So this is. Showing another graphene follicle as well. So 
Here's um, oocyte, zona pellucida, right there, that pink line. Here's cumulus oophorus around there. So fecal cells found out around uh, the follicle there. The antrum is the space. Okay. Any uh, questions on this slide? Where was the uh, secondary follicles at again? Secondary follicles are, are all over the place. Um, but to distinguish the secondary follicle, uh, so let me um, move these two here. This is showing a secondary follicle here. You, you don't have a, a clear antrum. You got lots of cells here. There's the oocyte. All right. Here is a grafting follicle. You got a nice defined antrum. Okay.